Accidents are happening all too often when using knives on a construction site. This video will explain the best practices that should be used when using any knife for any job. We will cover topics about choosing the proper tool for the job, the line of fire and PPE, keeping your tools sharp, stored energy, pinch points, and general safety. This safe work practice video was produced by the ACSA Edmonton Regional Safety Committee to keep you aware of the hazards when using knives and safe on the job. Knives should never be used on material that will break the blade or dull it quickly. There's always a right tool for the job. Use it instead of your knife. Utility knives with segmented blades, for example, have some limitations. The blades cannot be securely locked. The segmented blades are not designed to withstand side stress. And special disposal containers are required when snapping off the segmented dulled blade. Using appropriate personal protective equipment is just plain sense. You should use Kevlar gloves when using a knife to protect your hands. A regular work glove does not provide much protection, does it? It is important to keep your hands out of the line of fire even when you're wearing Kevlar gloves. Wow, that would have hurt. A knife can be a dangerous tool when not used properly, such as continuing to strip cable with it after its edges are worn down. As strange as this may sound, a dull knife is more dangerous than one that has been kept sharp. There isn't much of an edge left on this knife, which means this knife is not safe to use. Keep your knife sharp to avoid mishaps. Always consider stored energy when using any tool, especially knives. A simple example of stored energy which most of us can relate to is a wrench slipping when you are trying to loosen the tight bolt. You pull harder and harder on the wrench and when it slips, that force has to go somewhere. The same principle applies to knives. If you have to exert excessive force on the blade in order to start the cut, you are increasing the potential of losing control of the knife. Same knife, one sharp, one dull. Watch what happens when Ron tries to cut through the jacket. First of all, it's really hard to start the cut. Ron is using far too much pressure just to get the blade started. Because it's so dull, it slips. Same knife, sharp this time. Not much effort is required to make a clean cut. Ron is letting the knife do most of the work. Over the course of the shift, this results in significantly less strain on the hands and wrists, and it makes cutting much safer. Always ask yourself, if the knife slips, where will it go? If the answer is into my hands or other body parts, change your position. Cut away from your body. Do not allow any body part to be in the line of fire. Little slips can be big gashes. The more pressure behind the slip, the more chance of injury. Even Kevlar gloves won't be 100% effective. danger common to all folding knives is getting your fingers caught between the blade and the handle. No matter which style you use, folding knives have a lot of cutting surface and it is very easy to cut your fingers if you do not close the knife properly. Always use your palm to close the knife. Closing your knife properly reduces the risk of injury. This one should be obvious. 
If you drop a knife, let it fall. Do not attempt to catch it. A broken tip can be repaired. Cuts take a long time to heal. There is always a lot of activities on a construction site. Pay attention to your task and don't talk to others while using a knife. If you're interrupted, stop cutting and place your knife down on a secure surface. Oh, and never use your knife to point with. Knives can be dangerous if they're used incorrectly. Use the right knife for the job. Keep focused on your task and wear your PPE. Remember, work smart and work safe. Thank you.